I am Engineer Shahzad Khan and you are watching YouTube channel Civil Engineering Easy. In today's video, I will show you the complete procedure how to find out the model, number of bags of cements, quantity of sand required for the plastering of wall having area equal to 120 square meter. Don't skip the video, watch it till end, let's get started. Consider a wall having length is 40 meter and height equal to 3 meter. Its front covering area for plaster will be equal to length multiplied by height. The length is 40 meter, multiply it with the height that is 3 meter. By calculation, the area for the wall surface will be equal to 120 square meter. Consider the 12 mm thick plastering for the wall. Now the question is how much of the quantity of the mortar do be required for this wall? Let's calculate it. The quantity of mortar for the uniform thickness is equal to area of the wall that we already calculated multiply by the thickness by putting the values the area is 120 square meter multiply by 12 mm is the thickness that is 0.012 meter. By calculation we get the mortar quantity that is equal to 1.44 cubic meter. Add extra 30% of the mortar to fill up the joint in uneven surface etc. The quantity of mortars comes is equal to 1.44 plus 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 1.44 by calculation we get 1.872 cubic meter of the mortar. We have calculated the wet quantity of the mortar but in field the supply is in the form of dry material so we need to change the wet quantity of the mortar to dry. Usually we take 27% to 30% of the wet quantity in order to get the dry quantity. Let's take the 27% of the wet quantity to find out the dry volume. So increasing 27% of the dry volume, 1.872 is the wet quantity plus 27 divided by 100 multiplied by 1.872 by calculation we get the dry volume is equal to 2.377 cubic meter of the motor. For the motor, different ratio is recommended that is one ratio for motor is generally recommended for the external plaster and for the ceiling plaster. 1 ratio 5 for the brickwork motor and for the internal plaster and 1 ratio 6 for the internal plaster. Let's try the last ratio that is 1 ratio 6. For the 1 ratio 6, 1 part represent the cement and 6 part represent the sand. First we need to find out the sum of the ratio that is 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. We have the net quantity of the motor that is 2.377 cubic meter. Then in this much motor, how many bags of cement will be? That is find its ratio. Cement quantity is equal to one part of the cement divided by the sum of ratio is 7 multiplied by the total quantity of motor is 2.377 cubic meter. By calculation, 0.34 cubic meter of the cement is required. But in market, the cement is available in bags. Let's change this to the number of bags. The number of bags in one cubic meter is around 30 bags. Number of bags of cement for 0.34 cubic meter will be equal to 0.34 multiplied by 30. So by calculation we need around 10 and a half bags of cement. There are 6 part of the sand quantity in 2.377 cubic meter of the mortar. To find its quantity, sand will be equal to 6 part of the cement divided by the sum of ratio is 7 multiplied by the quantity of mortar is 2.377. By calculation, we need 2.03 cubic meter of the sand. 